everybody, this is Praxis with an announcement about something coming up uh, on Friday and also a story about something that happened to me which relates to emergency events. First, the announcement. This is the third Friday of the month, so we're doing our first live stream that's connected to the Project Homestead series. It's going to go out at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, but we're in Daylight Savings Time here, so that's like 7.30 Standard Time. Yeah, I, you can do the math and figure out. I apologize for it being all crazy, but... 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, but we're on Daylight Savings Time, so that's 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, Standard Time. Anyway, it, it all makes sense to us over here, sort of, except for like the week when we change all of our clocks. So anyway, that's coming up. Look forward to seeing you guys all there. Um, we're going to be uh, talking about the whole process, but specifically, you know, what we've talked about in the series so far but if you have any questions about you know your own homestead build or any of that stuff bring it in and I'll you know share with you any uh, knowledge that I have now the story I wanted to share with you is something that happened this week and it relates to emergency uh, situations and uh, it was a situation that uh, came up with Amber she had a flat tire now uh, we were uh, moving cars because we were plowing out the driveway and Amber noticed that she had a flat tire on her car we went and we fixed that and you know it was all snowy and icy and uh, we you know moved the cars and we were going to move the cars back and her car is just her tires are spinning it's just not getting traction now we noticed while we were fixing the flat tire that she had that the studs on her tire were starting to get a little bit low so I'm thinking wow man you know they didn't seem like they were that bad but you know it was just spinning on 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 the ice and, and she was parked down like a little bit of a valley with a, a very mild slope but I, I grabbed a winch. I've got all these great, you know, preps and everything. So I grabbed the winch and I'm, you know, winching her up out of here while she's like spinning her tires, trying to get up this like really mild hill. And, uh, you know, we're working through it, working through it. And we finally get the, this car dragged up the hill. And then we're on a flat section and it's still the tires are spinning out. And I'm like, what is right? You know, I, I've lived in New England for a long time. We have snow, we have ice. What is going on here? This is just weird. It's like, you know, are these tires really that bad? Uh, well, it, it, what was actually going on was that the uh, emergency brake had been put on when we changed the flap, and Amber was the first one to move the car after, and she forgot, forgot to disengage the emergency brake. So after she's having trouble moving the car, she's already been trying it. It didn't dawn on me that maybe she just never released the emergency brake. So what we were doing was winching a car up a hill with its brakes locked down. Now that seems funny in, in retrospect, it's like, haha, you know, we, we did this stupid thing. You know, it was like two or three hours of, of, of dragging this car, but it made me think about, uh, you know, sort of crisis situations. That was like kind of a mini crisis, not life or death or anything like that, but they, like there was something that was wrong and we needed to problem solve it. And I was almost kind of blinded by my preps because I have the, all these preps, I have these means to, you know, drag a car up a hill uh, so I jumped to that kind of stuff and I didn't stop and think about like what's the real problem here like can I Is there something going on that I could actually just diffuse the entire problem and make it so I don't have to You know muscle my way through it and I think that in a lot of emergency situations things like that are going to happen with people where we're going to have our preps and you know they, they always kind of say like you know when your tool is a hammer every problem is going to look like a nail uh, and and I think that's a, a big challenge for a lot of people to tr try to get out of that, myself obviously included, where, you know, just because you have tools to solve a problem in a certain way doesn't mean that's necessarily the best thing you should be doing. Sometimes stepping back and thinking about something, coming at it from a different perspective, could help you to realize that maybe this problem you think you have isn't actually a problem at all, and maybe it has a much easier solution. So I just wanted to throw that out. You know, whenever you're in an emergency situation and sit, things seem like they're one way, Take a moment, take a step back, think about all the factors, and there might be a much easier, better solution than winching a car uphill with his brakes on. That's it. Hope to see you guys on Friday. Thanks for watching.